Hello friends, in this video tutorial, let us see how to create a SSRS report which uses data from SQL Azure database. So for this, let us go to SSMS. Now over here we have connected to SQL Azure which we can see, okay, the, the user which we have connected and the database, okay. So the database, uh, in this database, we have total sale table, okay. So SQL Azure DB is the name of the database and it has this table has got 11 records. Okay. The, the net name of the table is total sale and it has got 11 records. Now let us create a report which uses this data from SQL Azure database. So for this let us go to reports. Let us click add new report. It will start the report wizard. Now let us create a new data source as we will require a different data source. Okay, then our on-premise database, so we'll require a, let us name it as SQL Azure data source. Okay, and this is important. Now the type will not be normal SQL server, it will be SQL Microsoft SQL Azure because this is not an on-premise database, this is SQL Azure database. Okay, and if you go to browser, we can see this is the database to which we want to connect. Okay, and we can even get the connection string. Okay. So we are interested only in this much part up to 1433 port. Okay. So starting from TCP up to 1433, this much will be enough. Okay. So we are just getting the proper name of the database, right? Let us go to edit. Let us put that as the server name. Okay. Then let us put the username and password with which we want to connect to the SQL Azure database. Let us save the password. Now let us select our database name. Okay, so it is loading the database. So SQL Azure DB is the name of the database, which we can go and check in our SSMS. So this is a name, right? And this name is coming over here and we have selected that database name. Let us taste the connection. So the connection has succeeded. Let us click OK. So now our connection string is ready and it is pointing to the SQL Azure database. Let us click next. Let us go to query builder. And let us build our query. So basically we will select all the records from our total sale table. Okay, so let us go to DBO, to tables and total sale. And let us select all the columns. So let us click OK. So now it will show us all the columns. Let us click next. Let us select tabular type of report. Let us uh, put some of the columns in the detail section. Right. Let us click next. Let it be the first format. And let us give a proper name to this report. Report underscore from underscore SQL underscore Azure underscore data. Okay, let it be SQL underscore Azure. Okay, fine. Let us click finish. And now let us just instead of underscores let us put space so that it looks like a proper report title so our report is ready let us go and preview the report so we can see that our report is pulling data from sql azure database and it is showing us all the 11 records let us deploy the report so the deployment is has succeeded so let us go to our web service url Okay, let us go and refresh and let us run this report that is report from SQL Azure. So we can see it is showing us all the 11 records. Okay. Also we could have seen the report from our mm, uh, management portal, right? So report manager URL. So let us go to the report and let us run the report. So we can see all the 11 records. Also, if we go to its properties, let's say we go to the properties, okay, that is manage. And if we go to data source, then we can see that the type of the data source type is Microsoft SQL Azure and with its corresponding connection string is also present, right? Which is a little bit different from the normal on-premise database connection string, right? And it has also got the credentials that we had supplied. So. I hope friends this video tutorial on how to create report from SQL Azure database is useful to you. Thank you.